morning everybody happy Easter or happy Good Friday I hope you're all well as you can see I'm on the bike again it's nice to be out but I haven't been out for a while I, you know um, last time I was out was when I went and had my tyres fitted and uh, that was oh that was a month ago now at least I think and I haven't been out since then and uh, I can feel it the uh, my joints in my hips are pulling a bit because it's a different position that I'm normally used to being in being on this so just gotta get used to it again but I've got John with me and uh, we just met up at Walker's and we're heading through to Thetford and we're meeting up with Wraith Rider and he's organised a small ride out somewhere we haven't got a clue where I think from what he said the destination will be decided when we get there but he's into his Wraith Rider is into his photography and things like that and I think he want to do some photos of the bikes and he was on about doing some uh, rolling shots or something I don't know I'm not a photographer so I said yeah we go along and I give John a shout and asked him if he want to go and he said he'd go so we just go and see what what occurs you know so that's where we're up to but while we was over at Walker's just now or a little while ago um, we stood there having a coffee and we see this van well it's like a flatbed turn up with this big panel on it didn't think a lot of it and uh, a little while later I took some video of it on my phone whether that'll come out and whether I'll be able to get it in the video I don't know but if I can I'll put it in now Somebody's just turned up at Walker's with this on. It's about the new Ducati. He's just turned up and just put it on. Yeah, it's about the, turn up, so. yeah. I don't know, it's probably because all the bikes meet here and he's they're advertising the new Ducati like us are naked. But yeah, that's uh, that got he put this video going, and that was um, the new uh, Ducati um, street naked street fighter thing they've got out. And I was just playing that. No sound to it, but there was um, subtitles on the uh, bottom of the screen there, and I thought, yeah, that's that was quite good. And as I say, that was up at Walker's. But uh, John said, "Which way are we going to Thetford?" So I said, "Well, we go which way you like. We can either go up the R11, which will be quicker, or we can come up this way through Brandon because uh, you know that's a, a steadier road. You're not racing your guts out." And uh, he said he wanted to come this way, so that's what we're doing. He's still there. But I've got to take it steady because uh, I'm still scrubbing in these, well I say still scrubbing in, I mean, I'm scrubbing in these new tyres. And uh, also last time I was out was when I had them put on and I just had to ride home when I'd done the walk around of my bike for you. But uh, it's the only time I've been out since then on it. So yeah, definitely got to scrub these in. But they're the uh, Michelin Road 5s. I thought I'd spend a bit of money and get a decent set of tyres. I keep hearing all, seeing all the reviews and that about them, so I thought I'd give them a try. 
and uh, I think from the off they felt a lot better but uh, it's just like everything you've got to get used to it anyway we're now coming into Brandon look at this road is rough we're now coming into Brandon and uh, I'll pick this up again as and when we meet up with uh, Wraith Rider and who else is going, whoever else is going. So with that we'll talk to you shortly. And we're now in Thetford. That's uh, just gone 10. I just set my clock up earlier on because I come out, come out this morning I looked at the time I thought what the bloody hell. That was saying just after 3. And then I remembered I'd had my alarm off and sorting the wiring out on it and uh, because I disconnected the battery I'd not reset the clock. So I've done all that now. But we're nearly up to uh, Sainsbury's now so I don't know who's going to be here. We will see. John's still with me and we had a nice steady ride through anyway. Bloody cold, I know that. That is bloody cold. Let's go and have a look. <sighs> if anybody's here can't see any bikes as yet over there lad I never see you sitting here as we come round. <laughs> <laughs> see you go round a couple of times. <laughs> well, we went up and round the car park. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You all right, Ed? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, quite a lot. I figured if we go to Brandon, head through Lake and Heath, go over the over five ways, so you go through all the villages towards Berry. Yeah. Uh, and then we stop by, like, of course, you get a crack, grab a coffee or something. Nicky and all that. Yeah. Um, and then head. Uh, what's the way? Through it towards. Well, we just come that bloody way. I know, right? Okay. What's he like? <laughs> <laughs> just a thought. Just throw it out there. No, it's fine. I ain't worried. I thought sort of, if we head through towards, like, go to Edinburgh, through to Houston, Houston, and then cut off there towards Gorse Motors. You know, Gorses? No. Towards Bannum. This is a nice long straight there and some nice corners. Well, there's a couple of corners out to get some corner shots on. If you wanted to do some photos, that is. I ain't worried. Straight with get some action shots on. There's a lot of traffic about here. Jason said uh, <laughs> heading up through Brandon Lake and Heath past Walkers and then out towards Berry. I said we just bloody come that way if we'd have known we'd have met you at Walkers he said well I only just thought of it when we got here <laughs> yeah, not to worry that's a ride that's the thing we're out Bloody hell's that going up? 
Got big buck, huh? The big buck, huh? That was a bloody arse about face. Way to go, Joey. Oh well. Think he's got a bit lost. Let's shut. Park. There's the Ark, that was a Debenhams. a part of the world I don't really ride around. Um, it's not too far from mine but just don't come down this way and you know don't have no reason to I suppose. But that's not a bad little road round here. Barnum, yeah I know where I am as such. the um, training ground up here I think Barnum um, I think it's Air Force camp I'm not 100% sure but I think it's either Air Force or Army oh, it's one of the two There's a uh, tank museum up here somewhere as well. Probably been through here before, but can't really remember it. Nice little church there. Suffolk Andy would like that. little village really this part is oh I see where we are I think and this is the uh, Berry Thetford Road yeah yeah I had half an idea that's where that brought us out I've got 
got a funny feeling that tank museum used to be up here somewhere. bit precarious yeah danger keep out that is the um, back end of the training area Hard enough. <laughs> We've got a corner there. Just some nice shots. Look at the photos done. I don't care. Brilliant, cheers. That's good to see you anyway. Yeah, take care. Yeah, as well. Right, I'm gonna head up that way. Yeah. That way. yeah. <laughs> take care. All right. I'm now heading home, that's uh, good to catch up with Jason again and uh, good to see Daniel out and about. I'm friends with him on Facebook but uh, I don't think I'd actually met him but no, he's a nice chap so we had a, that's been a good, what is the time, 20 past one, that's been a good morning out. So uh, just coming past Elverden Church there, yeah I know where I am. <laughs> So yeah, no, we've done a few photos and uh, Jason's going to send them on to me. So hopefully if I've got them I'll uh, stick some in this video. So I shall hang on before I edit it and uh, try and get them sorted out. And uh, come on, where are you going with your bloody beamer? Yeah, it's been real nice to get out on the bike and Get out and about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish the video here and uh, make my way home. There's a bit coming up here. So you all ride safe and we'll talk to you all in the next one. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and uh, just have to say bye for now. Take care everybody.